Arts Education Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimeni and NAT Secretary General Wilson Sosion have once again differed over how the basic education regulations were drafted. Kaimeni insists that all stakeholders were consulted, but Sosion says the consultative talks collapsed. The two were speaking when they appeared before the National Assembly's Committee on Delegated Legislation. Put your hands down. The contentious basic education regulations gazetted over two months ago put the Ministry of Education and Teachers Unions at loggerheads. The Cabinet Secretary for Education don't play with fire. They train us left the station. And when the Education Cabinet Secretary and NAT Secretary General appeared before the National Assembly's Committee on Delegated Legislation, their love-hate relationship played out. Just a moment. Attack, no. just, just, just a moment. I'm stating, order, I'm order. stating facts and order. I'm giving evidence that order, yes. members, order, order, so shown and, and yes. The Education Cabinet Secretary maintains stakeholders were involved in drafting the regulations. And I want to give an emphatic yes. There were consultations. Of which if we were involved properly, we would not come here. But we can assure you. Kaimeni says four meetings were held where Nat and Kupet joined other stakeholders, including the Kenya National Examinations Council. But Nat says the meetings collapsed. And I have evidence here, Mr. Chairman, on those days, we had a name, we had a form, where there is a name, the institution, if it is KSCD, if it is Kupet, and then the contact, email, cell phone, and the signature of the person of the institution. The four meetings that are being alluded to by the minister to us were not stakeholder forums. They were acrimonious, and therefore we did not substantively discuss the basic education regulations. We believe in evidence-based decisions. Even in as much as the records about attendance of meetings but the thing is, what were the nature of those meetings? Four attempted meetings that collapsed. The Teachers' Service Commission says it was consulted, but is seeking some amendments on the hiring, firing, and disciplining of school heads. It is true Teachers' Service Commission was invited to the meetings. We gave our submissions. And I'm happy to report, Mr. Chairman, that most of the issues we raised were addressed during uh, those meetings and uh, in the final draft that came out. The basic education regulations have a raft of measures among them, the six years minimum age for entry into class one to the 8 a.m. start of classes. But it is the measure that gives the education cabinet secretary powers over school heads that has generated a storm. Rita Tinina, KTN.